Thank you for purchasing the Eco 180 by Marais. We are certain that you will be very happy with your purchase. This video is intended as a guide to assist your plumber or electrician with the installation of your new water heater. First, you should identify an appropriate place to mount your water heater. It should be mounted vertically, directly to the wall, with the power and water supply connections at the bottom of the unit. Remove the hanging bracket from the back of the water heater and hold the bracket against the wall in your desired hanging location. Mark the wall where the three mount holes should be located. If you are on a wall stud, screw the bracket directly into the wall. If not, insert the supplied wall anchors, then screw the bracket into the wall anchors. Remove the four screws and washers to free the front cover. Lift the front cover off of a few inches. Don't pull too hard. And disengage the plug connecting the LCD panel to the unit. Remove the cover and set aside, and then hang the cover on the wall bracket. Be sure that the unit is hanging securely from the bracket. Connect the power supply at the lower right side of the unit into the appropriate section of the terminal block. Make sure that the wires make a full contact with the terminal blocks and that the screws are securely tightened. Reattach the LCD cable and then replace the cover of the unit. Improper contact of the wires to the terminal blocks or loose terminal block screws can cause electrical failure. Do not connect power to the circuit breaker until the plumbing connections are made. The water connections on your water heater are 3 4 inch FIP and should be connected to the water supply using a 3 4 inch braided metal hose. Use the supplied rubber washers to ensure a good seal. We recommend that you install a valve at the unit supply so that you can turn off the water supply to the unit if needed without shutting off the supply to the rest of the home. The unit requires a minimum of 29 PSI for proper functioning and can function with a maximum of 150 PSI. Wrap all metal pipes with Teflon tape. After the water connections are made, you should turn on the hot water tap, purge all air from the pipes. Once the water is flowing consistently, check for leaks and correct as necessary. If the water pressure exceeds 150 psi, a pressure relief valve must be installed. At this time, power can be connected to the circuit breaker. This unit requires the exclusive use of two double-pulled 50 amp 240 volt circuit breakers. Be sure that the breaker switches are in the off position. Once power is correctly connected, you can switch the breakers to the on position. Turn on your water heater. You are now ready to begin enjoying endless, instant, and energy efficient hot water from your new Murray heater. 